and I've worked hard to meet with almost every one of them and talk to them and try to figure out who could best serve as our next congressman from the 3rd Essex District. Who, who truly, now remember this, we have international concerns, we have national issues, and to bring it down to the 37 communities in this district, we have issues for the cities in 37 cities and towns in that district. In my opinion, we need someone that will absolutely understand and know how to deal with the international issues, but more importantly, the national ones. And more importantly, the issues of the cities in the 37 cities and towns in this district. Now, I, I, I recognize that I'm the mayor of a smaller city of 50,000 people, the proud mayor, I might add, of the city of Methuen. And we have a wonderful city here. But believe it or not, we have needs. Needs that are burdening the taxpayers of the city of Methuen. Needs that truly could be met with help from Washington. And as I looked at the candidates, as I interviewed the candidates, as I talked about national, international issues, I thought about who would best serve us as our next congressperson. And as I was thinking about this, I was thinking about Marty Walsh, the mayor of Boston, who I work with in the legislature. Uh, he was only a House member. He could never make it to the Senate where I was. <laughs> so he jumped over, he went to mayor, well, mayor of the city of Boston. But the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, uh, that it's you know, we got 600,000 people in the city of Boston, and you've got a budget of $3 billion. A little bit less than Methuen, and I recognize that. A little bit more, I should say, excuse me. I a little bit more than Methuen. But the fact of the matter is, when we're, Mar we're, we're done, it'll be less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, let's go. <laughs> so, so, what, what, uh, so as I, as I looked at this, I, I said, well, Marty, who I respected and admired when he was in the legislature for his advocacy for his district, picked someone that was young and bright, someone that can help him manage a major city and manages it well. And he picked Dan Cole. And obviously, he picked the right person. He was enormously successful in his first four years. The citizens of the city of Boston gave him an overwhelming thumbs up. But I'll tell you why, he didn't do it alone. He did it with his chief of staff. He did it with the chief of staff that understands the needs, and this is important, uh, the public safety needs of the communities, of the, city, of the community of the city of Boston. The public work needs, the public health needs. And that's the kind of person that I want to represent the city of Methuen, myself, and the city of Methuen in Washington and be the next congressman from the 3rd Essex District. That's why I'm proud to announce today on this beautiful Methuen Day <laughs> that I'm proudly endorsing Dan Cole for Congress, our next congressman from the 3rd District. And I want to say one thing. Let's go. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm a round of applause for the mayor. Woo! Thank you everyone for being here. Thank you to all the amazing elected officials for being here. All of your support is unbelievable. Um, before I begin, I just also want to say what an amazing opportunity to be here at Delphi Shop. Yasmin, thank you so much. What an amazing yeah. opportunity. And to the mayor, I am honored to have your support. You are truly a public servant in so many different ways, and you've spent your entire life helping people. You are a Marine. You are a city councilor. You are a state senator. You are a secretary of public safety. You are a mayor. You have spent your entire life doing the work to help so many people, and there are people all around Methuen and all around this world whose lives are better because you gave and cared and worked, and we're also grateful for that. Mayor Jujuga's view on public service is how every person who wants to help their communities should dedicate themselves to. There's so much distraction in levels of politics. 
There's so much partisanship. There's so much drama. There are so many people who are trying to promote their own image. But there's one thing in politics there isn't enough of, and those are people who are focused on doing the work and helping people. What Yasmin has done with this amazing organization, this amazing shop, and anyone who's watching, please come to Delphi's today. Hey! Hey! Please buy everything in the store. She's more than happy to replenish her supply. But the reality is Yasmin is an American dream store. She wanted to start this shop to serve her community. And so everything that we do as elected officials, whether we are school committee members, whether we are city councilors, whether we are mayors, or whether we are Congress people, should be helping people like Yasmin live the American dream. My family lived the American dream. They came from two different parts of this world, Korea and Lebanon. And they came to Lawrence, Massachusetts, worked in the mills, had a good middle class job, opened up Aragai and Ear Associates, my grandfather did, over 70 years ago. Many of you on Facebook Live may be patients of my mom, so <laughs> thanks for doing that. And as a result, they lived the American dream, and now there's a Korean Lebanese guy, two of the most random parts of the world, who has a chance to become a congressman from his hometown district. And that's what we need to do, is make sure everyone has their shot at the American dream. And the reality is that is not happening today. So let's get rid of all the noise and focus on the things that matter. A good, well-paying job for everyone. Health care and quality health care for every single person in this country. Making sure that everyone has the education that they need. First with jobs. No one who works 40 hours a week should ever have to live in poverty. We need to make sure that we are fighting for things like pay equity and paid leave. That every single person who opens up an amazing shop like Delphi's has the back of the government and that people feel like the government is rigged in favor of them rather against them, which is what happens today. We need to make sure that every single person has access to good quality, affordable health care. Today, people are looking around and wondering if I get sick, am I going to have to go bankrupt? Am I going to have to close the businesses that I'm running? Am I going to be able to put food on the table for my kids? In a country as prosperous as this one, that is wrong and we should not stand for that. And when it comes to education, we all know this. The longest school committee man uh, in the entire United States, Bob Oker. Yes! Oh, yes, he is. Aging in place, Bob. Okay. We need to make sure that every single public school in this country has the money it needs so the kids can succeed. Yeah. a real shot at the American dream starts with a good quality foundation that doesn't just mean K through 8, it also means universal pre-K and also make sure that we're providing free community college for everyone. And finally, it's about what the mayor said. It's about doing the work. I can't, I can't continue without giving a shout out to fellow Chief of Staff Paul Fahey. Yeah. 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 Chief knows, the mayor knows, everyone here knows that all politics should be and is local. The reality is everyone, no matter what level of government you are, should have the same goal, and that's to help as many people as possible. My job is not to tell uh, Councillor Campagnon, to tell Chairwoman Canan what to do. My job is to listen to what's happening in Methuen and fight like hell to get as many resources from across this Amen. country to Amen. Methuen every mm -hmm. There's too much at stake. This is a beautiful city. This is a beautiful district. But it's all about one's priorities. Are you focusing on making sure that Yasmin has what she needs to be successful? Are we making sure that the mayor and the city council has the things that they need to be successful? Or are you focused on going on TV and screaming about how bad the other side is? Are you focused on coming up with the most witty tweets so you get attention for yourself? That is what's happening in DC. That is the culture, and it is wrong. We need to go back to the basics. We need to go back to the only kind of government I know, quite frankly, to have worked for a mayor, which is every single phone call is your problem, no matter how big or how small. You call everybody back, you get the solution to any problem, no matter how outlandish it is, and you are paying attention to the little things. Everything from a pothole to a street light to making sure that schools have the money for renovations they need should be the problem of everyone in DC. And I pledge to all of you that that will be my first priority. Right. Beautiful. Yeah. And finally, all of us here have a lot of knowledge about what happens in cities. But the reality is I think all of us are humble enough to realize that we don't have all the great ideas. And so this only works if we're communicating with everyone. So to the citizens of Methuen, 
to everyone in the third district. My cell phone number is 978-225-7455. I will never know as much as you do about the things that are happening every day. I promise to return your phone calls, I promise to listen to you, and more importantly, I promise you to bring you the solutions and not kick it to other people. That's the least I can do if you are able to send me to DC. Yay. And finally, as I said before, it is all about the people who are incredible enough to be here today, who have the support, who are doing the work every single day. This is a team effort, this is a collaboration. It is my job to be an advocate for everyone here in DC. It is not my job to grandstand. It is not my job to get distracted. It is to work closely with the people here, like Mayor Jajuga, who's a public servant and a hero, who's dedicated his life to making Methuen and this region better. And I pledge to you that I will do that every day, and I am honored to have your endorsement, Mr. Mayor. Thank you very much, and let's go.